Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Tuesday evening. Tonight the order that we are using is the Church of England service. So let's begin with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us again to the end of another day. We pray that we will have a time of rest in this evening and wake up in the morning refreshed. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth, giving you blessing out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commit my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commit my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation with which you, have prepared, which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Let's turn now to prayer, followed by a time of quiet, where we can give the things that are foremost on our hearts over to our Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, as we come to you, we begin by praising you. 
we praise you for all that you are, or at least that little that we can understand of you. Father, we thank you that you look after us each day. We thank you that we are protected by you. Father, we thank you that you stand by us in everything, in the good and in the hard, in the joy and in the sadness, in the light and in the dark. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the world that you've given us. We thank you for the beauty where the ocean touches the sky, where the mountains touch the sky. We thank you for the beauty of the flowers, the myriad of green colours as we look across a valley or a field. We thank you for the surety that is, as the sun sets, the moon rises. Father, we thank you for the beauty in a sunset, a butterfly. And Father, we are so sorry for all that we have done to this planet. Father, help us now to still take care of it, to be good caretakers of the world that you've given us. Father, we thank you for our friends and our families. We thank you for all of those people who are around us, who cheer our spirits by a word or an action. And Father, we continue to pray for a world where so many things are uncertain. Where lockdown is less in some places. But then, like in the UK and in Leicester, it's coming back. With harder restrictions. Father, we pray for those places that are really, truly struggling. For whatever reason, we seem to have forgotten that people suffer under other circumstances apart from, apart from COVID-19. That there are many hundreds of thousands of people who die each day that don't have the virus. Father, help us not to forget, but continue to pray. And in a moment of quiet, let's offer up to God those things that stop us from sleeping or wake us up in the wee small hours. Those things that make our stomach drop because we're so worried or so sad. Visit this place, O oh Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always be upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. 
Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day, and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us, and the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. May our Father bless you with a good rest and a peaceful sleep. Good night and God bless you.